What's up guys, it's Redflex95 here doing a post commentary for a unboxing for a, a supply drop from inkgaming.com. For $30, $60, or $100 a month, you get a bunch of collectibles as well as cards for your favorite game of choice between Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, Digimon, etc. I went with Yu-Gi-Oh personally because, well... That's just my personal favorite out of all of them, and uh, I got a really good surprise in it, opening up one of the packs, so hopefully um, you guys will be just as surprised as me. So yeah. Um, did I... Was the $100 worth it? Well, I'll answer that question at the end of the video, but the deck box here looks really nice, plus it has a uh, seal of approval from a pretty well-known Magic the Gathering YouTuber. That I've been getting into a little bit lately. I'm not really into magic, but he's been appearing on some Team EPS stuff, so I had to give that an approval. I got some really nice card sleeves, a uh, nice blue and a nice kind of a purplish magenta, uh, mag magenta color, so I'm very happy with that. Several packs, which were pretty nice. This was actually the first time I opened up packs in like at least a couple years for Yu Gi Oh! I usually don't get packs. I usually go for singles and uh things i know what they are just some random slip uh, paper i start by opening up the uh, structure deck which is the blue eye structure deck it came out a handful of years ago totally useless to me i'm not going to use pretty much any of these cards frankly since they're both outdated and just i don't really have much use for them aside from just i guess being cool so i opened it up i didn't keep it sealed sure it would be worth a little bit of something i have like a few sealed structure decks here in my room uh i think it's just one of the dinosaur fairy decks from a couple years back with a uh, superconductor tyranno it's like 20 bucks now which is kind of nice actually a nice value for a structure deck that only came out like what five years ago So, yeah. It's at this point when I was fiddling with this that I looked to see if it was recording. And uh, apparently I had it set the wrong way. So it was recurring, recording vertically, not horizontally. And it took me like 10 minutes to figure out how, how to fix it post-editing. Yeah, flipping through the cards. Just Look, it was a fine structure deck at the time. And if you got three of them, you could make a pretty decent blue eyes deck but overall not something i plan on using the honest is actually pretty nice so that's honestly a pretty decent card i guess monster reborn is pretty good too enemy controller to be useful the trap cards are completely useless i can't remember the last time i used any major traps besides like a uh, infinite impermanence and i recently started getting a uh, into another trap card that's been pretty relevant lately but enough about that I don't really open up the plush at all, uh, so just keep that in mind. I have a nice place for it, though, at least. It's a pretty good plushie. I'm definitely... I'm definitely going to be using the uh, deck box for sure. It's a really nice quality, and it would be nice to have something that size for travel, rather than my big-ass on the hive. So here I open up one of the first packs, and I get a pretty damn surprise when I pull this thing. Triple Tactics Thrust is one of the biggest cards in this set. It is worth $70. And I pulled one on the first pack. So combined with the value of the structure deck, as well as the case, this was worth $100, without a doubt, just by that card alone. Unfortunately, the rest of my pulls kind of suck from here, but that's just my opinion. I did get a nice uh, Blackwing Xeref, which is a pretty usable card in a lot of decks. I didn't really look up the value of the rest of the cards, just triple uh, TTD, uh, triple T, I guess. <laughs> No use for that fusion monster whatsoever. It needs a lot of materials I've never even heard of. Kind of shows how long I've been playing, uh, how long it's been since I've played a lot of really relevant Yu-Gi-Oh! or got any packs, you know. Let 
you guys are curious where I got the playmat, the One Piece playmat, I also got that on InkGaming.com. It cost about 35 bucks. You get to use any image on the internet you want. So you could go for your favorite anime, you could go for something really risque and just weird, or just a picture of your favorite animal, you know, that kind of thing. I have a, about five of them now, uh, six actually, one is coming in the mail soon. Pretty decent Exceed monster, it's like you basically get to name a card and if you draw that off the top of your deck you get to add it to your hand, otherwise send it to the graveyard. I'm not going to use it though, it needs two level 8s and I just don't have a lot of level 8 monsters. I have like, I might be able to pull it off with the deck I'm working on, but it's just really unnecessary and I'd rather not waste my time with it. This is where I get the 0 up, so that's really neat. I'm thinking about throwing him into one of my current decks, but he's not really necessary, I feel. Although, getting that graveyard effect he has with one of my other cards is good synergy. And this is where I was hoping to pull another one of those thrusts, or at least a, one of the really good chase cards this set is known, or uh, apparently has. Because a lot of its cards, it has a handful of these cards that are worth 100 plus dollars, including one that's almost $400 at the moment of recording. Uh, I went online and... Uh, picked up two of the booster boxes for about $64 a piece, so hopefully I get something really nice from them. Uh, I, sh I really shouldn't have, but look, I saw the value. I was like, if I got this card from one pack, then I don't see myself not be able to pull at least one or two more to add to my deck, which would be fantastic. All in all, I think it's very worth it, and I'm definitely going to do this next month. Maybe a month after that. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.